Hi, my name is Jeffrey Drake, uh, virgin owner of this brand new Generac in behind me. Although I still don't understand entirely how it works, Amir and his team arrived promptly as promised this morning, Friday, September the 13th. They installed the machine. They were really uh, proper, probe throughout the day. And um, I'm looking forward to be, being a member of the Generac family. Thank you. Thank you. So today we are doing another 26 kilowatt uh, air cooled unit. It's for the whole house. The crew has already hit the road. They're at the location. They're unloading the generator. Uh, we have done the visit before, so we have a plan of where to put the generator. Where does the gas go? Where does the generator go? Um, again, today we are going to confirm with the customer for the location if he has changed his mind or not. And then we are going to start uh, doing the project. Uh, there is a couple of hours of uh, no power at the house. So when we arrive, we will prepare everything and then we will cut the power for about two to three hours. Today it's a smaller project. It's probably four hours of uh, installation. Uh, 26 kilowatt air cooled, 200 amp transfer switch. We are going to be on the job site as we said in uh, seven minutes now. And then we will uh, show you more details when we are done. Cuts the vegetables right. and she dries them out here. Oh, then you use it for the for to food, cook. To yeah. cook. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, which is really nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah you bet. Here. Yeah, that's cool. Strawberry and grapefruit. Perfect. Yeah. Which one? Uh, strawberry. Strawberry. There Thank you. Go. you. Grapefruit. Okay for you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're gonna cut the power now? Yeah. Okay. Sounds For the good. next two to three hours? That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come out 
go to the first and then connect then the, the all three are linked are all linked so if so, one drains they can and it's parallel they can pull so from the others. all three are consumed at the same time okay and you think there's about a day and a half or two two yeah it it all depends on the consumption load consumption if uh, it's full load if you're using everything 26 kilowatts it goes full load one day per tank okay. but it doesn't have okay. you're not using 100 amp all the time no it goes up and down Okay. And the generator, the speed is changing based on the load. Okay. You can see when the generator is running, right. this is the throttle. Okay. You see how it works? All right. uh, based on the consumption, it's going to open so more gas. It's like our car that we accelerate, same, okay. same yeah, concept. Same concept. Okay. When it is started, it Piston starts with half okay. two, yeah, It is two cylinder. Wow. It's a two cylinder engine. Uh, we put the oil warmer. Mm -hmm. this, this guy is the oil warmer. Okay. So the first oil that goes to the engine is the oil that is in the oil filter. Okay. When this guy is hot, the engine is starts easily. Winter time. For the winter. Okay. Same thing for the battery. We put you see the warmer underneath the okay. orange one. That guy is going to keep the battery warm so it doesn't freeze and it starts easily in the winter time. Too. Does the oil have to be changed on it? Yes, or? that's the maintenance. So it's after, the first time is after six months of installation or 25 hours of operation. Okay, so make a mental note of that. Right, we put it in our schedule too so we'll give you a call. You'll call me so I don't have to worry so I can slowly become knowledgeable about exactly. how this whole thing works. Exactly, and then after that is every year or 100 hours of operation. We will send you the service contract mm -hmm. for the generator, so it's, easy. it's in our calendar, we just get back to you okay. uh, whenever it's the due date for the maintenance. If it was four days continuously, give us a call. Because like that's a disaster. Done. Yeah, like but you'll know there's a disaster, we'll right. know. And hey, we have this, we check always this, uh, the power outages, the map. You know, if like you the want. last storm in early August. Exactly. You must have had a lot of customers. We, that exactly. But they, mostly it's, our customers, we, we just get messages that thank you, everything is good, it's awesome. working. But uh, I had a lot of calls uh, that the, the installer was not certified, he wouldn't answer the phone. So we get the calls, uh, what's going on, what should I do, and when the maintenance is not done, uh, most probably it's not going to work. Okay. If it's not working, there is something um, you know, major that we have to fix. Okay. But um, uh, we do the maintenance every day, every year. So we check, we change the oil, um, oil filter. We check every the year. air every year. Okay. We check the air filter, clean up. If the air filter is not good, we will take it out okay. and put a new one. This is how we can change it, right? So we okay. put a new air filter. Uh, we the definitely, yeah. What we do, we, che we check the battery, clean up the battery. If the voltage is less than 10 volts, we change it. Uh, you have two years warranty on the battery. Okay. So if the battery is... Uh, That's too harsh on, Canadian winters, yeah. True, yeah. Okay. And then uh, what else? Wi-Fi is so, right there, I see that. Right, we are going to do the app together. Okay. Uh, we can do it now. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, so we update the firmware. Okay. On this guy. And then we check if everything is tight, we check the spark plugs. That's what we do during the maintenance. Okay, very good. And he's but gonna leave the first it, year, the you're going to reach out to me. Right. Because I'm not going to be knowledgeable enough. That's right. So After six months, we're going to get back to it. Then every year, it's, a, it's an email or message that comes to you that this is the due date. Please confirm that we are going. This is the invoice. Confirm. And then you'll, and then you'll contact me to let me know when you're coming. That's right. Okay. Good. Same day, you will get a message. Okay. Good. The machine itself, correct me if I'm wrong, it runs itself. That's I don't right. have to push a button. No. The power goes out. Goes on. Five it comes seconds. And starts pulling. Exactly. Five seconds yeah. after the power failure, it's, it's going to start. Mm -hmm. Between 10 to 30 seconds, it's going to give the power to the house, depending on the temperature. Because it has to reach the 3600 RPM and then gives the power to the house. Okay. So between 10 to 30 seconds. Okay. Maximum of no power is 35 seconds and if there's a if really bad storm right depending upon our consumption we can use ways to conserve as well to make sure we don't run out exactly let's say at night you can come just hit off if the house is warm right 
you don't need the generator running, you can just come out and hit off. Oh, really? And morning time, just hit auto. Yeah, because you don't want the stuff in the fridge or freezer to go bad either. Right. Okay. Then morning time, and it's the noise too, right? Yeah, noise so, is pretty loud. Yeah. Right. So if, let's say, you were sleeping, you don't need the generator, you can, and the house is warm, you just hit off, morning time, you're going to hit if auto. If the power is still off, hit auto, and it'll come back on. If not, just leave it on auto. If the power is back, just hit auto, and it's going to be ready to run. Ready to run again. And you will see the light is green, you see? When the light is red, it's not working. Okay. Right? So there is something wrong. If if I put it on auto, which it, it doesn't go on auto now because we haven't done the activation yet. Okay. I'm going to do it, and then the light is going to go green. As long as it's green, you're all set. Okay. Or I just let it run. I mean, I, I might be, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're not talking about a lot of propane. At night, everybody's sleeping. That's right. So, okay, good. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna do, uh, these are the documents. Let me put the documents for the transfer switch sure. in here too. Sure. And then we, will, we can do the app together. Yeah. So this is the five years okay, warranty on the Chris. transfer switch. Mm -hmm. uh, two years parts label and travel, mm -hmm. three, Parts only, mm -hmm. three years, four to five years, major part components in the transfer switch. Okay. But the generator is 10 years in your case. But realistically, if we're only using it a few days out of the year, right? Oh, right. Um, it should have a pretty long shelf life. Definitely. Yeah, it's 2,000 hours the lifetime of this generator. So if you have four days per year, which is rare, 20 you years. Have 20 years. Okay. And or long. the maintenance. And the maintenance. You need to do the maintenance. I have the maintenance. seen generators 50 years old this ground. Really? They've been around that long? Yeah. Wow. It was, I believe it was another brand they purchased uh, and then mm, they changed the name. So it's a pretty old one, doesn't have a cover. It's in the building, inside the building, okay. with the exhaust going out. And I, yeah, someone called me to go fix it. It's a generator. Because 50 Genibank, years 50 old? Years, and I'm there, it's, listen, I that's can't get than, the parts I have. That's older than you. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so okay. I called the, the, you know, the headquarter. Okay. I have this case here. They said, oh, it's pretty, it's pretty done. Uh, yeah, let's put a new one. So the customer paid us. gonna do I'm gonna cut the power you know you don't need to do this okay. I'll just never for the, no this. no it's just for the test okay. so I'm gonna cut this power the power generator cut. yeah generator is gonna start after five seconds 